You just need some little tiny plastic objects to hide inside of the bath bombs. I chose a seashell, a little dinosaur button, a bead. Just kind of whisk those together. See how when I squeeze it in my hand, it holds its shape? And that's what we want so we can put it into our molds. Okay, and since I have these right here, I might as well use them. I'm going to um, just add a little bit of this in here so we can make some different colors. Now I'm going to take my soap coloring, or you can use a little bit of food coloring. And I'm just going to put a few drops in there. Looks like this is a purple color. Our mold. I'm gonna make a little place right in the middle. I'm gonna push this down. Make a little place right in the middle. We'll do our little plastic bottle first. That'll just go right down in the center there. And then we'll just kind of cover it up, pat it down a little bit more. Fill up the other side of our mold. And then you're just gonna push it together really tight. Push down, clean off the edges. Just give it a little tiny twist. And we're going to let that set for five minutes. And maybe we'll do this one for the bead. It's a little bit smaller. So we'll fill up this side, push it down, make a little place right in the middle, put it down in the center, kind of cover it up and push it down a little more. I like to heap up the, the stuff on both sides so that it's a nice tight fit when you push it together. You want it to be nice and tight. Clean the edges. Just a little twist. Okay, now we're going to do one with the green. And I thought it'd be good to do this little dinosaur button. So same, same idea. We'll just fill up this side. Kind of pack it down. Push the button down in there. Cover it up. I don't know if I have enough for the other side, so I think what I'll do is maybe make a, a two-tone. We'll put some of this color. See some of this color in one in the bottom part of it, and then we'll put more of the green. Next time, I'm going to double the recipe, I think. Okay, now you're going to push these together just like with the other ones. Give it a little twist. Just like that. Set that one over there. Okay. Now we've got Olaf and our seashell left here. So maybe we'll use this pink to do the seashell. Mix it up a little bit here. A 
I'm going to put it down this way, just like that. Set this over here for a second while I fill this other side up here. It's a little messy, but actually feels pretty good on my hands. Okay, and then we're going to push these together. Might have to get some different scents and you could do this pink one kind of reminds me of strawberry it'd be neat to do like a strawberry scented one nice and tight And we can do the other side with some of this pink that I have over here. All right. Push these together. It's nice to have a lot of these because then you can make them all at one time. Otherwise, you know, when I used that little plastic one before, I had to make one and then I have to wait and then I'd make another one. It just takes a long time to do that. So it's nice if you can have a set of them. Then you can just let them all dry at the same time and then demold and make a whole nother set. Okay, well, that's it. And then we'll come back and demold them. And just very gently kind of pull up on it and then turn this way and then just very gently kind of twist and pull up that one turned out really cute i don't remember which item is in which bath bomb but that's okay it actually will be a surprise i guess just slowly twist this one's coming off first okay And if they're stuck or they're, they don't they didn't work out, you can always just um, make them again. That one turned out cute. Good. There's our double colored. That's kind of neat. So it's green with a little bit of the orange. Looks like an ice cream cone. The directions say to let them set for about 48 hours before you package them up if you're giving them as a gift. Well, it's bubbling a little bit. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit here. Of course, I just made these, so I don't know if it's better to wait until they're all completely dried. Of course, when you're in the bathtub, it's going to be fizzing because you'll be moving around in the bath. It's so cloudy, you can't really see that good. Cool. So we'll let that dissolve and see if we can find our surprise inside. Okay, I finished dissolving and then I see the surprise down here, which is not the seashell, but it's actually that little dinosaur. So that's right, the green was the dinosaur, so...